a Michigan cop was caught on camera punching an unarmed man in the face and seemingly knocked him out cold. Before we show the video, let me describe what led up to it. Police are shown beating up a man in an orange mask on the side of the building. Here's that pic, okay? <clears throat> That's scene one, we will call that scene one. Scene two, the man in the orange and blue shirt sees this and tries to intervene. He's being a good Samaritan, he's trying to help. It's very clear in the footage, this person is not the aggressor against police officers, he's trying to help. An officer shoves the good Samaritan to the ground. Okay, we got it. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens next. I ain't gotta do that, dog. Oh, oh my lord. All right. So sad. If you blink, you would have missed it. Um, horrific, horrific. Uh, The interim chief says the officers will be given due process and a report will go to the Wayne County prosecutor. If um, it could turn into criminal charges for the police, if this was unprovoked police brutality, the officer who threw the punch is now on desk duty. The other officers remain on the job. No officers, none of them have been suspended during the investigation for now. None of them have been suspended. It is clear it was unprovoked. Professor, what are your thoughts here? Uh, two thoughts. Number one, that's police brutality. Um, you know, punching somebody unprovoked, knocking them out cold like that. It's just pretty clear cut, seems to me. And you know, given that we're having a national referendum, like really a soul searching on how to keep communities safe, what right and wrong policing are, um, that that's not it, right? And so, partially, it's the same thing, right? Given given but the world we live in right now, police can't can't do that. And the fact that it was caught on tape um, really again makes us think: what are the other ver- what are the other versions of this that haven't been caught on tape? Right? That you know just just happened somebody was filming that, but that doesn't happen. And so really, I think it's important to highlight and say this is really not okay. And maybe maybe we thought it was before, um, you know, in our twisted system, but right now, you know, it's it's pretty clear cut. So number one, that is that is. That is really just bad, just just bad policing, right? You you just can't you can't be doing that. And so that that's part of it, I, I think. It, and the other part is just you know what what do we what do we do with these stories, right? Um, you know how many, you know how does this a story like this help us get to where we want to go? Which is if this is bad policing, what's good policing, right? What do we want policing to look like? And so when stories like this call attention to egregious examples like this. It's also an opportunity for us to define, okay, here's a better way, right? The answer to this is not this this um, this kind of relationship between police and, and communities. I guess the last point for me um, is, again, in my book on schizophrenia, um, I, I found that, um, that black doctors were just as likely as white doctors to overdiagnose schizophrenia in black men. Mm-hmm. Um, the, 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 the implication wasn't that it was a white doctor doing this racist thing to black patients. It was actually the role of what it meant to be a doctor, assuming putting on the white coat, um, you were stepping into this ra- this structure that was racialized. And so what I found in my research is the race of the doctor almost didn't matter. And so it's interesting in this example, because this is a black policeman, it looked like, um, right. who threw that punch. And so in a way, it's not just about one racist person. What that suggests is it's the framework of what it means to be a policeman. This kind of this kind of adversarial thing. So it's not just like let's weed out one individual. It's that there's some kind of structural issue that is right. about what it means to be a policeman, independent of the, the the skin color of the of the of the police officer. And that's why you de-emphasize the individual and you examine it through a structural lens based on that assessment.